Here's our boat. We're not coming down to our boat. Let me show you guys. Mm. Makes me dizzy. <laughs> it does. Oh god. That's the boat where we came from. And guys, would you look at this beach for a second? I mean look at the sand as well. Look at that. Ooh. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm finding my point first. You lost it again. Where is it? Ah Bubuka. Look at these dogs. Look at these dogs. It's so much fun. <laughs> so smart. Oh. Having so much fun out here. <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's show them our room. Okay. That's actually where we're gonna be staying for the entirety of the weekend. Like a ship house. Oh, but here's a montage of the room. Alright, she just bought this waterproof phone case, whatever. Let's see if it works. It won't open. Oh, there. And I guess you just put this in, right? Yeah. How are you gonna operate the phone though? You can still touch it. Okay, mommy, come on. Let's okay, go let's go then. Okay, right, just try to put that. Just dunk my phone in the water. Doesn't matter. I don't like that phone anyways. Okay, okay. try to put that in. You get this. Ah, the phone! Sigi, Sigi, dive. Oh, wait, no, we're not going. No. Okay. I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to take my phone. I'm going to take my phone. Where is the cafe? Where is the cafe? Where is the cafe? My phone is broken. Is it? No. Okay, it seems like it's working. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We'll see. We'll see if my phone's broken or not. Which most likely it could be. What do you think, mommy? Is it broken? Yes. I mean, just by looking at it. Looks kind of wet. Okay, moment of truth. Ah, this is like the worst part. You do the honors. There. She found a tool. There you go. It's delimited, Masudla Gotter. No, you have to find out first. See? Nothing. Let me see my video. Just ignore my phone, guys. Got tape on it. <laughs> I mean, it's already broken. So you can't break it even it's more. Alright. We're trying to run after our things. There's actually a lot of kids and that's where we put our stuff. Let's see if we lost something. I mean, not judging these kids, but who knows. Yeah. Okay, it seems like we didn't lose anything. Okay. Alright, we're actually gonna go ahead and look for some cheap food and we'll see what we can find. So we just got this tempura for our snacks for today. Ooh, I like the sauce in this one. It like tastes it? like great. So we got one burger macbo. <laughs> That's what we had earlier this morning. Anyways, the goal for today basically is oh not just today but for the entirety of our stay here. We're gonna try to spend as least as we possibly can. We're pretty sure that a lot of you guys are interested in, you know, how much money do you need for you to be able to stay here in Malapascua. What do you think about that, Mommy? Good. You think 
we'll be fine with 1,000. For the food only? Yes. Ah. We'll see, we'll see. 1,000 should be fine. We also would like to talk to you guys about how much money we have spent so far on things like transportation. Since we just um, use our own mode of transportation, which is a mo ah! Okay, take two. We only spent 350 for a full tank of gas for my NMAX uh, all the way to Mayaport. What else? 350. When we already arrived in Mayaport, we spent 150 for the environmental fee. So it's only 75 each person. If you are actually um, bringing your own mode of transportation, like car or motor, there's a private parking. So if you're going to use motor, it's 50 a day. And if it's a car, it's 100 a day. <laughs> At the entrance, you also need to pay one, I mean, 10 pesos each. We paid for the banka. It is 150 per head. And other than that, I think that's pretty much it. No! What when else? we arrived here, we had lunch and oh, we yeah. only spent 99 pesos. 90 pesos for 90. lunch. Now we spent 50 pesos for the snacks. I think that's pretty, pretty nice, actually. Looking forward to eating dinner. And we'll see you guys later. Later tonight. As you walk out of the room, you walk towards here. And this is the view that you see. I mean, look at that. Sand though, it's just, it's just amazing. Okay, look at that. All right, it officially is getting dark now. We're heading back to the room. I think we're going back for another swim. Are you going back for a swim, mommy? Yep. Okay, let's go. Maybe How was that too, stupid yeah. time lapse? It's good. I had a nice workout. It's gonna be really cold for sure. We'll go get grab some dinner after that. Mommy, are you hungry? Yeah, super. Okay. Uh, I tell you. The sand here, it's really great, but it's really dark as well, so that's a problem. Look at that though, look at the sky, oh it's just pretty. Guys, this is a proof, look at this sand, look at it, isn't that pretty? And that's in the middle of the beach. Look at that sky. It is pretty. All right, this is our journey trying to look for rice. This is actually how hard it is to look for rice at this time of the day. It's around 8 p.m. already, I guess, or 7 p.m. around that. We've been walking through this little alley for like, I don't know, 20 minutes now. Okay. I think we've already seen what we've been looking for. After quite some time, we were able to find food stalls near. Hopefully there's rice! We finally found rice after all that walking. waiting for our tour guide because we're actually gonna go out snorkeling today and we're pretty excited and we're actually gonna go around the island of Malapascua see what they have to offer I'm still sleeping me too we, we gotta do it because we already paid for it for the meantime we're just gonna be enjoying the beach here on this nice weather here today the weather is so nice right yeah. it's pretty we just got back from a long walk to the market eating breakfast it was really good we only paid like 100 pesos for the both of us so our two guys is now here so we're not gonna go for yes, yeah i think it's just worth it because if you go here in malapasco and you're just gonna stay in your resort it's not like worth it yeah, because for you're three paying days you gotta do something else <laughs> 
Selamat yeah. That kid is just chilling over there. So I think we've reached the spot now. Hi. We're going out snorkeling now. Give me. We have a little bit of a stop over here on this north part of Malapasco. The sand is just really nice. Look at it. Alright, so we're now gonna go for a swim on this nice beach. This is like the best part of Malapasco right here. There's actually a boat down here. We just got um, snorkeling. Well, actually, we just woke up. We're now trying to look for food because we got really tired after that activity. Were you tired? <laughs> really tired. Look at her. Look at her. See? Yawning all the time. We just got back from eating barbecue. We have some food here. It's also getting dark already. It's about time we go ahead and have a sit by the beach. This is gonna be our last night. Yeah, we're just gonna be chilling for the night. But here's a time lapse of the sunset. Although there's really no sun, but still, here you go. Mm -hmm. 